Hello and welcome to part uh, 13 of this ChessBot battle series uh, in which I play computer opponents from chess.com. And looks like today I'll be playing Joel, a 1600 bot. Uh, it says Joel is a solid player who likes playing blitz more than studying. He plays the King's Indian attack without worrying about theory. Okay, so we will choose him and uh, we will play a 15 minute game with 10 second increment and here we go all right let's see he plays d4 so let's set up this hippopotamus defense again all right so he takes control of the center and brings out his queen early so this move is I wouldn't recommend this move because it blocks in his bishop. And usually you want to wait and see where is best to place the queen. All right, so hippopotamus defense. We Fianchetto both bishops. Um, now we're going to push these pawns forward in the center. Um, and bring our knights in behind them. Let's chase this bishop away. Okay, and bring the other knight up. Now we've, all right, so here, what do we want to do? Uh, we'll go ahead and close up the position uh, because I didn't want to open it up and have him, uh, you know, have both of these pieces lined up here. Okay, now he's threatening to attack this. So let's go ahead and attack that bishop. Okay, now we can jump our knight. Well, we could fork. We could fork his queen and bishop right here. But, you know, if he moves his queen away and we take, that would open up this rook here on the king side. So I don't know if we want to do that. Um, let's see, let's see. Eh, we'll just move the bishop up here. Okay, so he does attack right there. Hmm. Well, we could just attack his knight right away. Let's attack his knight, see what he does. Okay, now we'll just push forward, gaining space. Mm, he's just attacking again here. All right, well, what should we try to do? We probably have to capture here. All right, looks like, well, we could attack his queen. Oh, that looks like a good move there. Well, he'll just push his pawn forward. So let's go ahead and try it, see what he does. Okay, so he pushes forward. Now we can move our knight back here and jump it up to here. All right, let's try that. We'll attack his queen and bishop. Oh, so now he's bringing that one up to help prevent that. Okay. Well, let's see. Now we can't jump our knight in there because of this bishop. So let's just go ahead and play this awaiting move and see what he does. Okay, now we could push forward here. Let's see, push forward. If he captures, our knight can jump up and attack that bishop. 
So I think that would work. Let's try that. All right. Well, let's chase that bishop away. Now this lets us bring our knight up into a better position. So we'll go ahead and attack. We could knock out his bishop pair right here. Hmm. But should we do that? Okay. So now... Well, his bishop's really blocked in. It's a bad bishop, and this is a better knight, so I don't think I want to trade that. Let's maybe push forward here. Just keep gaining space. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll just gain space. Um, we could maybe move this bishop up and prepare to push forward and attack his knight. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so now he's threatening to jump in here and attack. Hmm. All right, all right. Well, we could just keep attacking. We'll just keep pushing forward and attacking. Okay, and now we'll just keep bringing our pawns forward. We could squeeze him even more by pushing all the way up to here. Do we want to do that, though? Hmm. I don't know, though, now, because now that will let... Um, if this pawn is moved, it lets him put his bishop back here and attack our knight. Um... Ah, uh, we'll just squeeze him. We'll just squeeze him even more. Okay, so the knight is attacking here. So what would be best now? Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's take his bishop. We'll go ahead and do that. And now... What is the best spot for this queen? All right, we should try and get rid of his good bishop here with our bad bishop. So let's go ahead and He's, he's going to try and push forward here, though. And I don't think I like that. So. Hmm. Hmm. Well. 
maybe we can reposition Right, we'll go there. Okay, so his bishop does take control there. Let's attack here. All right, and now attack here. Okay, we've traded our bad bishop for that good one. Um, now what? Now what? Well, we should keep control of this open file here, I guess. Or... Should we go here? Eh, we'll keep control of this. Well, there isn't much we can do up there anyway. So, let's try this. Okay, he saw that little tactic. If our knight took, he wouldn't be able to take back because we would capture his queen. So now... Hmm. Alright, what can we do to better position this knight? How about if we jump up here and swing over to here so we'll do that now we're in a better position with our knight all right well now we can capture this and then capture here Let's go ahead and do that. All right. Well, now we can swing back to here. Um, Go here. Oh, I better be paying attention to the time as well. Let's attack that queen. All right. What can he try to do here? Well, now we're kind of blocked in. So let's go here. Um, maybe threaten to attack that, attack again, all right, let's go here. here okay okay what now what now hmm okay so now i'm thinking about pushing forward here let's see let's see but that would eliminate his weak pawn here. Well, what can I do here? What can I do? Do I move back and see what he does? Do I try and push forward? 
If I push forward, he captures. I can capture. All right, let's do it. Let's just push forward. Oh, that was unexpected. Unexpected. Okay. Well, now I could just capture that. Hmm. Hmm. Should I attack his queen first here? We'll just do that. Um, and then, how about this? And, well, now I could just attack that. Does that do anything? Does that do anything? Well, maybe I should just attack. All right, now I could attack again, threaten to pin his queen. How about that? Okay, and now I can just push forward here. Um, Let's see, let's see. Okay, so I should be good here. I should be winning, but let's see how to how to push through and finish this off. Um, do we push forward here? Hmm. All right. Well, it looks like we should just push our pawns forward. Yeah, I don't know if that was the best move or not. Uh, did I just mess up here? Um, I mean, I could attack there. Or do I just push forward? All right, so we came out ahead in that. So let's think about how to finish him off. All right. Um, well, let's think, let's think. We might as well just move forward here. All right. Well, 
we can pin him in by doing that. All right. Well, now I might as well just pick that off. Hmm. All right. We'll send him back to there. Move forward. Okay, okay. And maybe we could swing our rooks around and try and attack him from this side. See if that would do anything. All right, or do we target this? I could try and swing all the way over here. All right, let's do this. Okay, I don't know why he did that. You know, that just ended the game quicker. Um, what should we try now? We'll just move our king up. Go here. And all right, looks like we just need to move our king all the way around on the other side of these pawns. And we'll just bring our king up here and pick these pawns off. And I guess I should have just taken that. But now we can just move forward. All right, we might as well just promote our pawn. And let's go here. Okay. Okay, so now he's trying to get a stalemate out of it. Um, but we can go here. and force a mate. All right, sorry that took forever. <laughs> uh, that, I don't know how long that game was, but it was pretty long. All right, we'll do a quick game review. Um, let's see, new game, no game review. So let's see what we should have done there. So 74.3 to 79.1. We both had two great moves. Excuse me, giveaway. Nice comeback win. So, looks like well, White was ahead early in the game. All right, so White takes control of the center. Uh, we counterattack uh, by fianchettoing and using our bishops to attack the center. 
All right, so here, knight to g6 was a mistake. Maybe they wanted me to um, attack here. They probably wanted me to attack with the knight or move the knight up here so I could retry that and see what, what it says would be better. Maybe this. So that was best. Attacks the queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. All right. So remember that. Attacking and driving the enemy's pieces away gives you time as they retreat to develop more of your pieces. Okay, so bishop to h6 is a great move. Uh, I've immobilized your opponent's queen by pinning it to the king. This is the only move that works, and you found it. So he just blocked it anyway. But then uh, c5 is a great move. Um, 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 c5. All right, why was that a great move? Well, it tries to gain space here. It attacks... The more valuable central pawn with your less valuable side pawn and if he captures then it puts your knight in a better spot um, also you know if he doesn't capture you can push forward and gain more space and chase his bishop away so we kind of slowly squeezed white here in this game queen to b8 is an inaccuracy so what would have been better queen to b8 um what would have been better here hmm. maybe just keeping this diagonal available no, that's an inaccuracy. So let's retry one more time. So we have to move the queen. Um, you know, what is best here? Maybe queen to c6. So that's best. Um, uh, maybe it keeps the queen, you know, out a little closer to the center of the board. Um, it kind of prevents the other queen from jumping in here on this diagonal, maybe. All right, let's look at the next few moves here. So capturing there was a mistake. I'm threatening to eventually win material. I permitted the opponent to win a tempo by threatening the knight. So instead, what should I have done here? Hmm. What would have been better? Well, I don't know. If I didn't do anything, he would just push this pawn forward, blocking my knight out. You know, which I guess he, once, once I retreated, he, he could have done that anyway. But I get a pawn out of this. So what are they saying would have been better here? Hmm. Maybe to put my queen in a better position? Huh. Ah, I don't know what's thinking about that. It says that's an inaccurate. Well, let's see what was best. Okay, this queen move here. You know, why would that be best? Yeah, I don't know. It protects this, I guess. Um, it can jump in here in case the queen tries to take control of this diagonal. All right. Well, of course that was best because I was capturing a knight for a pawn there, or for two pawns, I guess. All right. So, you know, at this point... I'm just ahead in material, so. All 
All right, and then it just kind of drug out. Sorry it took so long. You know, maybe there was a better way to do this, but this was an easy way just to promote until we squeezed him. So 1450 to 1650. Uh, in the opening, we had 92.2, or they did, and we had 86.3. So in the middle game, 67 to 75. All right. Well, okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and feel free to leave comments or suggestions. And thank you, everybody, and have a great day.